is George Kingsworth. I'm a lecturer at uh, SRC and also a filmmaker. And over the last two years, I've been involved in producing a film with some of the students. And my name's Ian Carroll. My name's Laura. My name is Richard, and we're working on the models to help George with Monty's Quest. I'm going to Notre Dame and uh, Capitol Hill. I needed to build some 3D models uh, on the computer, and I hadn't got any references, so uh, about a week ago I discovered that you can get these 3D models. So I thought it'd be great to get some more students involved in the production, build the models, and then photograph them in such a way that I can use those images as planes in the 3D world. It's quite productive because the, instead of obviously 2D jigsaws we made 3D ones which I've never done before. Basically uh, some parts weren't fitting. That we had to actually cut some of the bits <laughs> to try and make them fit. Then we found there's parts there's duplicates of other bits of the model. At one stage Aidan and I couldn't find any numbers on the model so we had to make it up. It kind of is a bit tricky at times. Talk about two hours each. It's quite grueling, hard work, but it was good fun. It was challenging, but it's quite rewarding once we got, got them finished. But there's a lot of research that I'm having to do to try and test out, like, you know, how do you get uh, 3D objects to shatter realistically, and how do you get buildings to fall down? Uh, and I think because I've now got these detailed models, all the jigsaws, I can see what elements I can build that can tumble down and use the game's physics inside of Blender, uh, which is a 3D animation open source package. I prefer building, I think actually the Capitol Hill one because it's more of a challenge and after getting a feel for it, um, after building uh, the Notre Dame one, I thought uh, we got into the swing of setting uh, things better. As George mentioned about the animation part of it and there's like a surreal like sci-fi kind of genre. It's a slow process. I, I've been having to um, do a lot of the stuff myself which is quite tiring uh, and to keep the men momentum going and motivation going is, 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 is at times quite hard. Well I'm just after finishing um, uh, an honours degree in film and TV production and I want to sort of move away from education and just get into the industry at the moment so I'm trying to make contacts and sort of get my CV out there and sort of hope to move into editing and if not editing then just getting into the industry somehow be a runner or any form of production you know. I'm studying at the Arts University College in Bournemouth. I'm studying film production, specialising as an editor. Absolutely brilliant. Um, my final year is next year, so after that I'm hoping to try and get into full-time editing work, if not script supervising, hopefully. I've just finished the BTAC National Diploma there, so I'm going on to do the HND in media <laughs> with George, so hopefully that should work out well, gather more qualifications. In, in one sense, the students coming and getting involved and in, in being enthusiastic, that's uh, infectious, it, it passes on to me and it keeps me going so that I can sustain what I need to do. But it's important that I finish this film because in the middle of the whole process I lost my dad and Trisha lost my wife, lost her dad. And you, you just want to have this as a kind of, if you like, something to dedicate to them um, and, and to, to make sure it's, it's kind of successful.